Well, at 6 a.m., my makeup is all smeared. So you all know how going to last night's events went. Anyway, welcome to day two. <laughs> well, today we are in Nassau and we're kind of like just hovering in the sea. It is really, really rocky right now. I know that there is a hurricane forming somewhere. Um, and they say that it, you just feel a lot during this time of year. So you definitely can feel the movement of the ship. So we're kind of just hovering in the middle of the sea until we get to Nassau. For some reason, we're not docking until 10 a.m. I've been told um, by some of the websites that we are going to be the only cruise ship in port. So I really don't know why we're getting there so much later in the day, but we'll be there from 10 to 6. So um, I don't know if I'm going to get off the ship, but if I do, I'll let you guys see a little bit of NASA. Uh, but I'm thinking I'm probably going to stay on and want to explore the ship. Well, since it's 6 a.m. and a lot of people are asleep, let's go do a little bit of walking around. I'm going to get some coffee, get this little frog out my throat, and we are going to get into day two. Let's go. It's breakfast time. Some yogurt stuff. I don't know what that is. Little cottage cheese, fruit, eggs, pastries, <clears throat> plain omelet. And then here is more of your traditional breakfast. So, not a huge bread, but not bad. I'm at it. So this is what I ended up having for breakfast and it wasn't anything special, it was pretty basic, but it sufficed. So next I headed to Brooklyn Cafe, which is the specialty coffee bar on board. And you have this really large room with all of these different seating options and you can pay extra to have specialty coffee made. morning y'all so today's set is courtesy of tiktok shop i have fallen in the tiktok shop vortex <laughs> so this little swimsuit comes with this cute little cover up here um so i really like the fact that you can just tie it up and it's really cute swimsuit is comfortable i will be sure to link it if i can we have arrived in NASA, and so my plan is to go and visit the thermal spa and to find the infinity pool on board. Um, probably just going to be a slow kind of hanging out type of day since um, I don't really think I want to get off in NASA. Honestly, I ain't trying to spend no money out there, and I can do without the beach right now because I'm not for the heat. So that is going to be the plan for today. Let's get ready to head down to the thermal spa. I'll try to show you guys as much as I can. Of course, if people are in there, it's going to be difficult. Um, just because I try not to record people who are like in swimsuits and compromising, um, you know, positions and all that because they're relaxing. So we'll see what we get and see what I can show you guys. But let's go. All right, guys. So we have made it to the Bridge of Sighs. So this is the infamous bridge when you cross. Yes, it is very scary walking across the, oh my goodness, <laughs> where you can see directly down into the infinity pool that I am looking for up here, so apparently it's not where I am. But we walked it. <laughs> it's here. Beautiful morning outside. Alright, look who's here. The carnival magic is over there. And I didn't realize this ship is significantly larger. It's not much taller, but it definitely is longer than the magic. There are some views of NASA. Let's keep going and see if we can find this pool. Looks like this is the adults area and probably smoking area over here. So I found out there are actually two infinity pools and they are located in the adults only area, which is good. But the only thing is, it just didn't give me the vibes that I thought it would. I don't know if it's because we weren't sailing or what, but it just seemed really kind of steel and um, it honestly was kind of boring. So I wasn't here very long. 
All right, so one thing that I forgot is that they give you your beach towels in the room, and so you have to bring them out and change them out every day and keep them with you. So of course I forgot mine. I don't like that. I don't know why they don't keep towels over here by the pools, but um, I'm gonna have to go back to the room, I guess, if I'm planning on getting in the water. But for now, I'm just sitting out. It seems like it's like kind of raining out here right now, so I just a little bit of drizzle. Um, but it feels good, so I will chill here, I guess, until I have to go inside and then probably hit the spa, so. Uh, let's get some relaxation in, and I'll be back. Good morning, I said I'm good, good morning. Good morning again, MSCC Shore. I know a lot of y'all up here to eat breakfast now. You're looking like, let's, let's go outside, let's go. Make sure you bring your shopping maps with you so you can shop at the recommended areas out there. If you're planning on visiting any of MSC's ships, you have to get photos on the different bridges. So this is the Infinity Bridge, which is the longer bridge, and it's super beautiful, and it was just really calming and a nice place to stand and get photos. Nice, but I decided that I want to get off the ship. Um, honestly, I was going to go to the buffet to see what was for lunch or go and pay for Ola Taco again. But you know what? I don't even want to go and deal with that buffet because I know what to expect. So we're going to get off, find some lunch, maybe go to Senior Frogs. I don't know. Just anything that has decent food because I'm actually pretty hungry. So let's head off the ship and go to lunch in NASA. Now, when you are getting off the sh ship, don't forget that you need to bring your cell card as well as a photo ID. So that can be your license. Um, your passport. I always recommend making a copy of your passport so that you can keep the actual passport in the safe in your cabin and then take the paper passport with you um, off the ship. But definitely bring your license and um, photo ID. So let's get ready to go. This is a pro solo traveler tip. If you don't have an early morning excursion or anywhere that you have to be, waiting to get off the ship a little bit later will give you access to walk directly off. A lot of times you have to wait in lines if you try to get off as soon as you dock in a certain place, but I had no issues since it was about 12 o'clock before I actually got off the ship. Previously, Nassau was one of my least favorite ports as a solo traveler just because you had to do so much walking and navigating the town. And so honestly, I didn't feel as safe walking through because there were a ton of vendors and people that will kind of walk up to you and approach you. I've been catcalled in Nassau and that's probably the only place that's happened since I've been cruising. So it was one that I is usually pretty questionable for me. Um, but now they have built up this area where you are kind of enclosed as a cruise traveler and you have access to a number of restaurants as well as stores so that you can buy like some little knickknacks and things like that so now I really really like NASA and I think that this was a great addition and they did a really good job with these renovations So I decided to stop into a place called Preacher's Kid to get a burger and fries. And I know you guys are thinking, you went out to the island and got burger and fries? Yep, sure did. I was just in that mode that day. <laughs> so um, the price for the combo was about $14 or $15. And it came with your fries and drink. And it was pretty good. that burger was good definitely way better than what I would have got on that ship for lunchtime <laughs> um, but yeah it is about 155 so you know what that means it's nap time and you know what I ain't got nobody to answer to so I'm traveling so long so no judgment but I'm getting ready to take a nap get ready for the night because it's white night I'm gonna go to the comedy club and actually do a lot of stuff so um, head back to the trip nice little visit in there so at least I got to see it um, but I'm out Hey y'all, it is always this Amazon dress for me. Y'all know it will be tagged in the description, but I have been wearing this dress um, since I kind of seized in January. So this is my second time wearing it. I just don't wear white anywhere else. So I figured we got to recycle this outfit because it's just too adorable. But this ship has some really pretty photo places. So I know it is gonna look so good on camera when I get on these steps and on this bridge. So let's go do some photos before heading to the solo traveler meetup at seven. So the bridge is definitely a hot spot at sunset. So we're still getting ready to leave Nassau. I'm gonna set up the tripod, get a couple of pictures here. All right, market 
Clay's buffet dinner. Let's go. 7 p.m. This area is closed down here. But we're gonna go down to the open area and I'm gonna show you guys what they have. Now I actually have a reservation at Ocean Key tonight at eight or nine, I think. Um, so I won't be eating in here unless there's something I just want to grab. Wait. We'll see what it looks like. Starts looking good though. Wow. Yeah, that looks good for real. Yeah. We have some chicken salad, egg salad. It's like toppings for burgers. There are the names of what you're about to see. Here's what it looks like. They bring the quantity. Mm -hmm. this in the day three video but I did not do the main dining room because they seat you with other travelers and that is just something that is a little awkward for me on some days to be honest so I didn't want to sit with other travelers or be forced to sit at like a community table so that's why you guys see a lot of the buffet overall the buffet was a lot better this day I actually did stop to eat some stuff but I guess I didn't record it um, but the buffet was better on this day two evening than any other day I saw on the cruise While on the way to the solo traveler meetup, I passed by Kaido Sushi, which is an additional upcharge specialty restaurant on board. Yo, look how the sushi moves around this bar. That is so cool. Y'all, yeah, I am so late to the solo meetup. It ends at 7.30. We got like eight minutes left. I don't see anybody back here. Well, I may have missed it. <laughs> Cause there is nobody here. Sorry y'all, I tried to be on time, but I gotta take my pictures. <laughs> All right y'all, I found it. So it actually was here in the corner. And they give you champagne and juice to get. So you can get two of them. Oops. I love the fact that you get unlimited champagne while you're at the solo meetup. This one was pretty well attended. There were probably about 10 to 15 people here. Right outside of the solo travel meetup, there was live music beginning, so I decided to pop by for a second to check it out. And I did not catch this artist's name, but she was really, really good. It's dinner time. We are heading into Ocean Key Restaurant. I always tell new solo travelers, if you have fears around eating alone, specialty dining is the way to go. I have never seen a restaurant this empty though. I was very concerned about the quality of the food because nobody was here. Similar to the steakhouse, there was a menu of things that were included in that dining plan I purchased. Now, if you wanted anything outside of that, you were able to get it for 50% off. 
I decided to take advantage of that and get a seafood platter because I love seafood and I have been dying to try one. It had some of everything on it from shrimp to crabs to lobster to mussels. I mean just full of seafood. You can decide to get the platter warm or chilled and I decided on warm. For the entree I did this linguine and the noodles were a little hard in my opinion so I didn't really like it and for dessert I did the tiramisu which was delicious. After dinner I had another show scheduled and it was so full that there were no more seats so if you want to attend the shows be sure to arrive early. Hey y'all so this is the casino at night y'all the casino is packed. So I really like that they have this little opening here where you can hear the piano players. They just finished playing, but you have kind of like this opening in the Times Square area. But the casino is thick, y'all. The tables are packed, the machines are packed. Like, it is jumping in here. All right, so it's almost 10.30, so it is time to head to the white party. It is on deck 18. I don't really know what to expect, but we're gonna see what happens here. Um, after that, we have the comedy show, we have the club, so uh, we're winding down on these night events, but it's probably about to be packed. Y'all, your girl slept three hours. I took a three hour nap in preparation of this night. So, um, I should be up, even though, y'all, I'm, I'm actually sleep tired still. <laughs> but I should be up and ready to capture this for you guys and let you know what MSD's nighttime event situation is like. Hopefully it's the lituation. That was lame, but y'all know what I mean. All right, let's get into it. Two, one, two, let's go. I went by the club a little bit earlier in the day just so I could show you guys what it looks like when it's empty. So it's a really beautiful setup and you have a lot of different options of places to sit. And of course they fill that middle part in the center with chairs. Once I arrived in this room this night, actually it was karaoke going on and it looked like a really good time so I hated I missed it while I was at the white party. That's it. I will no longer do comedy shows on cruises. The comedians have been atrocious. Atrocious the last two cruises. There's only one I can think of that's been really good and he was on Carnival. So, um, yeah, that's it for me. Overall, for nightlife, I was pretty impressed with the White Deck Party since it was so well attended and they played good music from just about everywhere. The comedy show needs some work. They definitely need a better comedian. Hope you guys enjoyed the nightlife on the ship and I will see you guys back for the final day.